Welcome to a series of tutorials exploring all aspects of Flapjack. Flapjack is an open source, multi-platform application providing interactive visualizations and analysis of high throughput genotype data. Hello and welcome to this Flapjack tutorial where we will cover the following topics. Importing data files, navigating and familiarizing ourselves with the interface. Now we have Flapjack downloaded and our input files created, we are ready to import our data and create a Flapjack project. Data can be imported from either the file menu or the icon ribbon options. Select the type of data you'd like to import from the selection of tabs in the import data window. As mentioned previously, a map and genotype file are all that's required to create a Flapjack project. Browse and select your desired files and then click the import button. Advanced import options are available which can come in very handy depending on how your data is formatted. Options available are for viewing all your markers together, Flapjack offers flexibility for heterozygous allele formatting and it allows for duplicate night line names to be imported. Flapjack also offers options for different heterozygous and missing data characters and it can also transpose your data if required. We can now click import to create a project. So now we can start to examine our genotype data. Different chromosomes can be viewed using the chromosome pull down menu and it's possible to zoom in and out of the genotype view using either the zoom bar at the bottom right hand side of the flapjack window or using your mouse scroll wheel with the control key held down. Using the scroll bar at the bottom of the flapjack window allows for navigation along the selected chromosome and note the distribution of markers visible on the screen can be viewed below the chromosome layout above the genotype data. Line, marker and genotype is displayed at the bottom of the flapjack window as the mouse is placed over the genotype data. The overview window displays the full chromosome view. Let's look at other importing options. To import phenotype information, again use the import data options available. Browse and select the appropriate file and click import. A helpful summary window will appear. Phenotype information can be viewed from this table and Flapjack uses a heat map display which can be switched off if desired. When we select the default view, we can see our phenotypic information displayed next to our genotype names and the heat map data is also visible. To import QTL or features information, again use the import data options available. Browse and select the appropriate file and click import. A helpful summary window will appear. The displayed table shows our QTL data, chromosome, location, trait and associated experimental information. We can select default view and for example on chromosome 6b we can now see a QTL for disease resistance. Clicking on the QTL displays markers involved with this feature. It's possible to create multiple views of your data to allow for various analysis within one project by right clicking on default view in the dataset window and selecting create new view. An option for naming your duplicate dataset is available. Once you have all the information required for your project, select save project. You can now access this project for further analysis at any time. Now we have map, genotype, phenotype and QTL data important to Flapjack. We can now see how powerful this application is. Please move on to the next tutorial for more information. Thank you for watching and we hope you find this tutorial helpful. Further support can be found within the help menu in Flapjack or by emailing flapjack at hutton.ac.uk.